Morris Traveller. We have a selection of cute little ice cream vans now. A Chevy Silverado. 70s British classic powered by a Ford V6 I believe. GXL, one of the top of the range posh models. And we have something big and American in the form of the Chevy truck. You've got the usual sort of patina or patina that you get with anything like this, and also older examples than this. I'll give you a few seconds to guess what this is. Is it American or is it British? Well, funnily enough, this is a Vauxhall Velox. Yes, we have the Mini going past another British classic. You wouldn't think it, the only bit that tells you a Velox, that it's a Velox, is perhaps the windscreen bit, and it also says Velox there. Um, but if you look around the back, I've seen this before, I remember this Assel Park. It looks nothing like the original car. It's completely different and modified. But it certainly does look very Americanized. The Vauxhall Velox was perhaps, when it was original, tilted more towards the American market man. But this one is certainly looking very Americanized with its modifications. Drive for 2000. This also late 60s, early 70s British classic. I'm not sure why the seats say are for Romeo on them. Steering wheel's correct, it says Triumph. It's quite good actually with the contrast of the black top and the white outer body. Then we have a Rover SD1, the British Leyland car. Very interesting colour, I'm not sure I've seen one like this. Now there will be a lot of trains, just as you can hear now, going past us. I'm sure you know Crew Heritage Centre is in Crew. it's implied in the name of course, but Crew is still a major railway. So you can see there are a few trains in the background, I've got the APT I think this is behind me. So I mean, no, there's the APT over there. Very famous train. But yeah, it's still an active railway, and there's, and there's a lot of railway history, but today we're sort of focusing more on the cars, really. What's this then? Some being rapier. Similar age to the Triumph 2000, possibly even a bit later. And then we have a current bumper MGB. Very rare four door Aston Martin with its six litre V12 engine on show. Slightly modified Mini, maybe on a wider wheel track, also with the modern LED headlights with a Fiat 600. Very early example. And we have a Rover Mini, looks like a very late one. This. All the Hornets, of course, based on the Mini. And we have a very original looking MGB GT Roadster. Oh, sorry, no, not a GT, just an MGB. And we have a Scimitar. This is a very early example. Some of the later ones went a bit plastic around the front, but these ones have to be my favourite, really. Yeah, the earliest Scimitar GT has to be my favourite. I just really like the shape. And we have the same body as the Triumph 2000, but this one is the Triumph 2500, referring to its 2.5 litre straight six engine that I think later on found itself into the Triumph TR6. This one I've just noticed as well also is the PI, so that's another even rarer model. So it makes a nice sort of waffling sound. Does this one have Alfa Romeo seats? No. I like the pinstripe down the side, that's quite a nice touch. 
in keeping with the railway theme. There are regular miniature railway rides. Just notice the appropriate registration for the scimitar with overdrive. Contrasting to the big American pickup in the background, we have a bright yellow Vespa. Got a lovely oil rag motorbike, I'm not sure what it is. I'm guessing it's a fairly sporty one due to the proper gear lever there. It's really lovely that, isn't it? Pre war, do you think? Ford Crown Victoria police car. I remember seeing this Ford at the Smallwood Vintage Rally. If you haven't seen that video after finishing this video, of course, please have a check that one, have a look at that and check it out because this modified Ford pickup does appear. Then we have a huge GMC sort of thing you'd see as the baddies in A-Team. That's right, I'm aware of A-Team, a night Rider. I like that sort of thing. Then we have a more modern Chevy. I recognise this from somewhere, I'm not sure I filmed it. Mm, I'm sure I remember this one from somewhere. Turns out this GMC is actually a replica of the Fall Guy TV, TV series, another sort of 80s drama sort of thing. We have a Chevy Silverado. Complete with Lightning McQueen esque eyes. And then we have another more modern big Chevy pickup. A huge Plymouth satellite station wagon. Looks like we're getting some revolutions from the Vauxhall Velox. We have another Ford pickup. Series 2 Land Rover in a fire brigade livery with many badges and things on the front. While I might not know the origin and make of this train, I certainly know what this is. This is a Willys Jeep. Very iconic vehicle seen in many Second World War films. Wow, now this is a Jensen CV8. I absolutely adore these. These are such beautiful cars in my opinion. Got a huge Chrysler V8 that probably does about 3 miles to the gallon. But who cares when you're driving something like this? I believe Jay Leno has one of these. And we have Morris Traveller. One of the later examples with the slat grill. While the old ones would have had the cheese grater type grill. We have a very late example of the Triumph Spitfire. These later ones are known as the Spitfire 1500s. Sounds like that police car's got its siren working. Got a Jaguar E-Type Series 2. I can test the Series 2 because of the lights and also the indicator is a bit larger than that of the Series 1s. Under there, got engine on show. Triple carbs. Ho -ho. It's gorgeous, this, isn't it? Jaguar. Now this may look like a Lotus Cortina, but this actually is one of the most early examples when they're actually called console. It's got a really tuned up engine. It's really nice. This is mint, isn't it? I don't think they get much better than that, do they? I remember this big Chevy from a recent car show. I also remember the dub dub engine joke. We have a selection of cute little ice cream vans now. Got the two minis here. And we have a 500 weight Thames van in the shape of, I believe, the 107E, correct me if I'm wrong, Ford Anglia, the later shape. So you've got the earlier Ford Anglia, which came before the Ford Pop, of course, which we actually do have one of those that's appeared on the channel a couple of times. And we've actually turned up to a, a show, we're doing two shows today, this is the second and the one previously that we went to. It's just a little morning meet, hopefully I would have uploaded that by the time of me uploading this video. 
yeah, we went this and that, and that appeared in that video. Now we have a Bedford CF. What's this then? A Toyota Sora. Is it a Toyota? I think it's a Toyota. It's a very mean looking Ford Mustang. Another hot rodded Ford Pop. I wonder if it'll have a V8. Look like it still has the original radiator in that. Certainly an old one. There we have a Vauxhall Viva, also with its high performance engine on show. Would have been very common, but nowadays not so much. And the same can be said for this Vauxhall Omega. Got Lancia Delta Integrale. The road version of a very iconic rally car. Would it have been Group B? I think it might have been Group A. But just just a bit late to the party for Group B. Got some cabinets with drain things. Very cool little dioramas. And we have a BMW's E46 estate. The boots up, must be for a good reason. Oh, I see it's got some interesting designs in the back too. Just had the very late example of the Triumph Spitfire starting up. Similar to GCE with overdrivers leaving now. 70s British Classic powered by a Ford V6, I believe. Next to the Route Master bus. Simitar has returned with a load of bikers. Anyway, I think some of the cars are starting to leave. This big station wagon is one of the few ones still left here. So I think we're going to head back. It's been a very busy day. We've been to two classic car shows in one day. So I think now, for us, it's time to go back and edit yet more videos for me. But now, what the time is for you to do is to subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment below. And also, by all means, have a look at the channel homepage just below this video and watch some more car traction videos if you've got a few minutes spare. Thanks for watching.